Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Hope you're all doing well today. I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I'm going to be doing a Dutch pour. Here I'm showing you my paints. Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black, DecoArt 24 Karat Gold. And the last one is a Unicorn Spit Sparkling Sapphire Swift. Here I'm just... Uh, torching my base coat, that uh, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black, and I'm going to start laying down the gold. This is going to be a Dutch pour where I blow it out from the center. Real simple, just the three colors, the black, the gold, and the Unicorn Spit. And the Unicorn Spit is a gel stain, and I'm just going to add it directly on the canvas, as you can see me doing now. Um, basically that is thin to start with and I did not want to um, water it down at all. My pouring medium I used today was two parts Floetrol, one part paint, a squirt of GAC 800, and a squirt of the Liquitex pouring medium. And that was used in both the gold and the black. I did thin it down with quite a bit of water because as you know, for a Dutch pour, you need thin paints to help the paints move when you use your blow dryer. Here I'm just adding a little bit of paint around, around the outside and I decided I'm gonna add a little bit of black back in there. And I decided too, I needed some of that gel stain right in the middle there. So that's what I'm doing, adding just a little bit more. Here I'm just starting the blow drying um, part of it. And I have my blow dryer on high and cool for this part of it. And that's how you do wanna blow your paints out. You don't wanna have the heat on your blow dryer. This size blow dryer is pretty easy to handle. So I was pretty happy about that. I did have to get pretty close to the paints to help them move out. As you can see, I am very close there, and sometimes I tip the, the um, blow dryer to the side a little bit to help that gel stain uh, spread out a little bit. And you can see me doing it right there. Just working on spreading that gel stain out so it's not quite so concentrated in one area. Dutch pour is not one of my favorite pours, but I decided just here today, give it a try. Just pulling my paints out to the edge here. And I do leave a little bit of negative space on a couple of the corners, and I did mean to do that. Here I decided I need a little bit more paint on this side. So just laying down a little extra gold there. And again, a little bit of, of that gel stain. I just used the skewer there a little bit to move around that gel stain and I did add a little bit more black in there. And what I did like about this Dutch pour is I was able to blow the paint in both directions just to mix it up a little bit better. You see I blew it out and then I blew it back in a little bit there.
And I'm just adding a little more black there to help the paint move. And when I did put my base coat down, I made sure to cover my corners and my edges uh, really well with that black. So I didn't have to worry about it too much once I started the blowing process. Again, I decided I need a little bit more here. And up in this area also, I decided I need a little bit more. Adding in a little black again. Just blending those colors. Just see, you can see how I'm blowing it out here. And now I'm going to blow it back up. Just to get it to blend really well. So it makes it look like it was there all the, the whole time and not add it at a later time. Just working with that little spot of that gel there. And again, that gel is called Unicorn Spit Sparkling Gel Stain, and that color is the Sapphire Swift. Here I'm giving it a torch and getting ready to give show you a close-up. Okay, everybody here we are for our close-up and I am trying to show you the whole painting here I am just so excited about this painting it turned out beautiful here's the upper left hand corner taking you down the left hand side and that blue gel stain just added so much to this painting and I did get some cells a little bit of lacing there and that is from the flow trawl, I believe. And I'll take you over up the middle here. Just so happy how some of that black did show up also. And I'm hoping when this dries that that gold is very, very shiny. Nice, nice spot in here. Some more cells there. Nice spot in here also. A lot going on there. And this is the upper right hand corner. I did leave a little bit of negative space on a couple of the corners, which I did mean to do.
So again, this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And I just did a simple Dutch pour with black, gold, and then that gel stain, the blue gel stain. And I will list that product in the description. So let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it. Make sure you ring the bell, choose all, so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. Thank you for spending time with me today. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.